In gender neutral news. Okay. Submitted by Bart High Five. High Five. Whoops. The parents of a two-year-old are still refusing to reveal their child's gender. Oh, did we do this before? Did we? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember this. The parents but of a two-year-old. This is a different set of parents if we did. Oh, okay. No gender constructs, sweetie. But they don't reveal it to other people? Yeah, like the basically they don't, they don't believe in gender constructs probably. So there's like who cares if it's male or female? The child is just a child. Yeah. Why is it a gay couple or lesbian or no. like? Oh, well, what, what are the uncles going to call him or her? Like my nephew? They that's call my, them they. My nephew niece. They call him they. But it's not plural though. Right, but that's how they are referring to uh, this kid as they. Well, I'm they saying, buy. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just saying not the pronoun, but when you're giving like your familial title, like this is my nephew or niece, which one do they choose? I don't know. I think this works perfectly my in a country like the Philippines where we don't have um, gender assignments to things at all. Oh. So it's like my mom, she interchanges he and she a lot. Yeah. Because she just has no idea what he or she is. It's just that person. It's kind of like cousin. Cousin can mean guy or girl, like that. Yeah. Like, exactly. oh, this is my cousin. And or it, like, it you know, in Spanish, like you have, um, you assign gender even to objects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't, we don't have that in our language, so I'm curious to see, you like, is this a, a, a U.S. couple? It is. You have to give US it a couple. name that also doesn't give it away, right? Like so what? It's gotta be neutral. Like this is my, this is my baby car. Drew, oh wait. <laughs> baby car, right? <laughs> have you met Tree? <laughs> like, Tree, what is that boy or girl? I don't know. Well, this kid's name is Zoomer. Oh, see, that's what I'm saying, Zoomer. That could be anything. Yeah, Sounds more be. boyish to me. It does, it does. Yeah, yeah. Zoomer's Maybe. boyish. Yeah. yeah, they call it Z. This kid Z. What is another gender neutral thing? Hold on, Z. Zoomer. The letter Z. Z for short. So, uh, this family is from Utah and they are part of the gender creative parenting movement. Okay. Where they're deciding to raise their child without giving them an, an, a gender. Or like, in a gender neutral environment. And they, the mom has a blog called Raising Zoomer. So here's some photos. Poor Zoomer. You feel you feel bad for this kid, but the mom could have a gender. Well, yeah, I mean, cause because they've already it. they've already like chosen or whatever. Like that's a girl, for, huh? They're waiting for this kid to pick to, their own. To pick their own, and so they're saying oh. that maybe around age three or four, that's when they're gonna pick their own gender, and then that's when they're gonna go based oh, off of okay. whatever. Mm. They All right. Ah, oh, the Christians are going wild over All this right. one, huh? I get it. Yeah. Yeah, so they're then, going crazy over it. Oh yeah. That's definitely a girl. You think so? Yeah, yeah. So they are saying that immediate family, they do know the, the gender, but... Let me tell you something right now. If you guys had a kid... We do have a kid. I know, but the, and you didn't tell me what the identity of the, the gender is, yeah. I would go crazy on you. And I would make you tell me. I would tell you right off the bat. Did you I, guys have a gender reveal? Yeah. Yeah. You did? Yeah. You were there. What the, <laughs> you know the spray cans with the pink or the blue oh, spray? Yeah, the the silly baby spray. shower, I remember. Yeah. And your mom went ham. Yeah. She was, She sprayed you guys down and then she got tired. I remember yeah. that. It's a boy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Tech is a boy. Tech? Tyka. 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 My God. Is he doing it on purpose at this point? I don't you know. You know what? He's pretty awful with names. Like I'm my. Off, I really am awful with names. Because right, I was this close on hating you, but. No, be, no be, I'm telling you something right now. It, it took me. It took me three years to memorize your guys' name. It's not because of per I love you guys, but I just was like, "What's up, Gio? Oh, yeah." You know what? You hurt my little ten-year-old niece's feelings yeah. because they've been here for three weeks now. Yeah. And when I was, we were all in a group together. We were in Disneyland, and I was like, "Hey, sweetie, um, take Isabella to the bathroom." He was like, "Who's Isabella?" And she was right there. And, and you had spent actually, every day with her? I know, and her face was sad. I'm like, who gives a fuck? Grow up, you know? <laughs> but that's like my... I should be more, I should be more open and nice. So Taika, boy, <laughs> that's now in my mind forever. No, it's not. I'm gonna ask you in an hour. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's in my mind forever, okay? What's Bart, my name? Bart. Good? That's good. Tiff. Yay. Joe. <laughs> Gio. I'm bad Who's with names, that? too. Who's that? Kololo. Kololo. <laughs> It varies. <laughs> yeah, but you know what the thing is, is that um, th these people are uber liberal. I think that's super, what it is. Uber, because look at this. Yeah. The mom says, the sex does not tell us anything about the child's personality, temperament, favorite color, dietary preferences, sense of humor, attitudes toward climate change. 
or any other unique traits. So like, I wonder what? if they, I yeah, wonder, yeah. I wonder if they worry about bills to pay. You know what I mean? Like when people have so much fucking time to think about all this stuff, I'm like, do you have normal people responsibilities? Do you, you know, do you have like career thoughts or like what's going on that you have so much extra time to like maybe think about? Maybe this is all like their shit? hobby, like how people have time for their hobbies. I mean, I don't know. maybe it's just a social experiment they're conducting. Yeah, on their kid too. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I could relate then because if I have kids, I would like to teach them assassin skills. <laughs> but not have them actually assassinate people. Yeah. So that's a social experiment, right? Yeah. yeah. Or or I wonder if by them having predetermined gender, I guess, identity as a kid, maybe they felt that it held them back some way. So I'm actually interested in how they feel of what that is that held them back that they don't want this to hold their kid. Oh, like back. it was a problem? Yeah, because you know, it's like most parents are like, okay, I went through this, I don't want my kid to go through the same thing. So for them, because they had predetermined gender identity, I wonder what they're like, oh, that really held me back. I could have been an astronaut if I Yeah, it's whatever. like my dad told me that boys don't like pink, but I could have been an astronaut if I like <laughs> pink. Wrong. Yeah, something like that. Right? Did, yeah. You, did you girls have um, penis envy when you were younger? I still do. Really? Yeah. I, I, did, I did a lot when I was younger. I, I refused to pee sitting down. Yeah. When my parents would be like, sit on the toilet and pee, I would just lift my lips and try to pee on the wall <laughs> yeah. for years. Yeah. I had pussy envy then. Uh, yeah, I did too. I'm like, you guys, it's just so much more relaxing sitting down and peeing. So I would just sit down and pee a lot. But yeah. you have an option to sit down and pee. Yeah, you do. You can sit down oh, anytime yeah. you want. We also, I, 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 always, I always wanted to store things inside me. You can, you have an like asshole. Smuggle. You have an asshole. No, but more, more than just the asshole. You want two compartments. Yeah, I want two compartments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two compartments, only have one. Heroin, the balloons of the heroin, <laughs> right? I guess, in my butt. You want to be a drug mule. Yeah, my dad want to be a drug mule. Right? But you have two, you have another one here. Yeah. You guys have three then, you guys have three. What? You're not cute enough to be a drug mule. If I was a girl, I'd be so fucking cute, bitch. I would be like the, I would be the sassiest fucking slut in this side of town. No, you, you're, you're Yes, not. I would be. My I, my lips would be dangling like this. That is not That's attractive. So loose. That's I'm so loose. It just does this like this. Boy, it does like a little dance. <laughs> I look like a, like an, a cartoon octopus. You would not want to <laughs> fuck yourself. Know. Male or female, you'd still be shaped like a boiled egg, Bobby. Boiled egg? <laughs> What's the difference between boiled and a regular egg? Or an egg. <laughs> They look the same. Boiled egg squishy. I think because he's squishy. Oh, I'm squishy. Okay. A boiled egg can stand on its own. <laughs> Smooth and squishy. Or maybe they're also. This is a point. Is is that they're afraid that what? It, what if it is gay, and they they don't want to, you know, have the baby have guilt over it or shame about it. So they're just keeping it completely open, so they can just just choose and not feel guilt or anything like that. I mean. There's always a, a negative with the positive, no matter what you do. Yeah. Um, I mean, if they're not growing up in an environment that's already familiar with that, then this child is probably gonna have a really hard time. So hopefully by the time this child grows up a little bit more, it, it, they're amongst people that think exactly the way they do. Yeah. I thank God my parents were like, you, you can't make any decisions till you're 18 because you're gonna be fucking stupid as hell. Because hell yeah. it's 100% true. Yeah. If Taika, that's your baby's name, correct? Yeah. No, it's Taiko. Taiko. I'm just kidding. It's Taika. Taika. Yeah. If Taika, he's a boy, and he said to you, "Hey guys, I think I'm gay. How would you feel about it?" Okay, cool. Oh um, my, that's awesome. Yeah. I just fucking love it. <laughs> I love it. I love the future. I I love how open you are, and I love I love that that's who you are. I feel like that's the norm now. What yeah, if he yeah. goes, "Hey, I think I think I'm black." <laughs> What if he says stuff like that? What? Well, like, what, he's, what if he says like, yeah, I think I'm black. Like, like, I, like identify with being black? Yeah, like, well, you know how gay? like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how like that's the norm now? Like, yeah. oh yeah, you're gay, well, so that's not shocking like yeah. a lot of people are, yeah. right? Then now the next thing is like, oh, I think I'm, I'm born a woman, right? So what's the next thing? Like, oh, actually, I think I'm an intergalactic alien. You can't switch races though if you're going from white to black. Like, I feel like if it's an oppressed minority, you can't be them. You can't be a Rachel Dolezal. Yeah. Because then you're, you're trying to live in their history and somehow in a sick way propel yourself via all of their hardships. Can you go minority to minority though? You can go minority to minority, minority okay. for sure. Like, that, like the, that white guy who decided that all of a sudden he's Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> Tabu? Yeah. He drove that little fucking tuk-tuk thing? 
Is that I would say hard? talk to Auntie Kalila. She has everything figured out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like she, she has, she wants, she's saying what I want to tell you. Yeah. But like, come, you know what I mean? Say, let's say you're my son. Go ahead and tell me that you're gay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Dad, I think I'm gay. What? I like dick. What? I think I I like guys. Nope. With dick. Balls. Nope. I like them. Okay. I think. I'm and then gay. I would accept it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You just can't fuck with. I have to test him at first. Oh, to yeah, see how really he's really yeah, I want to see how he really pushes gay? it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. If he goes, yeah, I am, I am. Let me see, and he and he starts pulling at somebody's dick and starts like, I'll be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Here's proof. That's proof. Ah. Yeah, but also true. I think that like chicks, I mean, just sexual fluidity is less allowed in men, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think that you could like dick at 15 or want to try it and then not care for it. As I adult. I, I, he sucked yeah. a lot of dick. But you're not gay, right? No. You're just curious. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like it each time? No, I was just I was experimenting in high school and when I was in middle school. So it doesn't mean you're like fully gay. I'm not gay at all, my friend. But you just try it. How come you have to try it so many times? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of times. Why more than once? A couple of times. You have to make sure, okay? It's one of those things like you think you like orange float and you gotta keep you're trying one, it. You're the one that wants to hold a throbbing boner. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not out of being gay. But he's not gay. That's you what I'm saying. You're so, for example, like when, when I was in high school, I didn't know like being gay was like a new thing. So I wanted to figure out if I was gay or not. Yeah. So that's I, exactly what I did. Okay. So okay. So what I did, I didn't have to involve another human being. Yeah. I got myself to a bone by watching normal porno. Yeah. Then I pulled up a gay porn. Yeah. And then I wanted to see if I would be even more turned on or if uh, I would deflate. Yeah. And then my my I deflated immediately. So yeah. I was like, okay, cool. I'm not gay, and I like girls. And I didn't have to do that experiment like 20 more times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. He didn't, have, he didn't have to put a throbbing cock in his mouth 20 more times. All right, baby, it wasn't throbbing, it was a kid's penis. Oh my God, don't say it. <gasps> no, but I was a kid too. I feel oh, a kid. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was a little baby's penis. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it was a little kid's baby penis. <laughs> Like my friend Greg, he's a comic, right? And he grew up in Boston. I'm not gonna say his last name, but he told me that there was a there was a forest where he knew gay people hung out. Yeah. And he wanted to see, you know, he was in his early twenties. Maybe I'm gay, right? So he so he went out to the forest to see, right? And he went to the forest, and a gay guy came out of the forest and approached him, and goes, "You want me to suck your dick?" And my friend pushed him, and they just got back in his car and drove away. And he realized I'm not gay. So sometimes you have to do to the, go to those extents. Yeah, but you have to push 20 gay guys. Or go back to the forest 20 times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>